Harper Greenwood Dance Studio are working hard to rebuild and replace items. They were lost when someone stole them out of the studio's equipment trailer. And they're working fast because as Fox 59, Zach Myers explained, the stolen props and set pieces will be needed at a national competition this weekend. The members of Inspire Dance Company in Greenwood say they're not going to let a thief stop them from putting on the best show they can at a national competition this weekend. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. As if rehearsing and preparing for a national dance competition isn't enough, <laughs> members of Inspire Dance Company are spending all their free time <laughs> rebuilding, painting, and replacing multiple props and set pieces. There you go. All of it was inside this trailer when someone stole it on Sunday. We came on Monday for rehearsals and it was gone. After the initial shock came the realization that everything they needed for a national competition in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee this weekend was in the trailer. 34 kids are just like, they were heartbroken on Monday. We didn't have any of the props and it was, some of our dances we need to use all of the props for it. Scooch up a tiny bit. Studio director Trista Horner says team members and their families responded in a big way. Like literally by that day, parents were going to Home Depot, they were buying things like left and right. I've spent more time in the studio this week than I ever have and it's just been crazy how our team came together in less than three days. We've all pitched in and helped out in law, so I feel like we're going to be prepared and we've almost got them all finished, which is good. While the props for this weekend are almost done and they have another trailer on temporary loan, it'll still cost thousands to replace several tumbling mats and a balance beam that were also in the stolen trailer. It's very frustrating and makes me... It just makes me mad that they're stealing from basically the kids, you know what I mean? This is the third time this same trailer has been stolen, twice before it's been found and returned. They're hoping that will happen again, even if not in time for nationals. Reporting in Greenwood, Zach Myers, Fox 59 News. As we near the registration day,